Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. My voice still sounds weird. I'm still a little sick, but I am getting better. I feel a whole lot better <laughs> today. My throat's not sore at all, and I still just got some congestion, but uh, I'm, I'm doing better. <laughs> Anyways, today I wanted to share with you guys some ornaments that I made uh, that I found cute patterns and was making them for my tree <laughs> and for my family. Uh, and I wanted to share the patterns with you so that you can check them out if you want to make them for yourself or your family before Christmas. So I actually have a bunch of these made up. I'm going to share three today and then I'm going to share some more um, in a few days. You know, <laughs> I'll spread them out so it's not like a ton all at once. But today I'm sharing three and they're all really cute and quick patterns that I made and loved. <laughs> so I got my notes written down here. So the first one I actually did share with you guys before in a national holiday video. But uh, I saved it to share uh, in this as well. <laughs> but it's a really cute little gingerbread uh, cookie. It's pretty big. You know, there's my face. <laughs> but um, this is a free pattern by Sarah Zimmerman. And uh, it calls for worsted weight yarn and an H hook, which is what I used. So I used Red Heart. Uh, this is Cafe Latte Y and some Cherry Red for the mouth. And then I used Safety Eyes for the eyes and the buttons. And you make two panels of the same little gingerbread man. And then you... Uh, you can sew them together or you can, um, what's it called? Top stitch them together. And I thought it was just so cute. So I wanted to make sure I shared that. The links will be down below if you want to check them out uh, and make them because they're so cute. So there's the first one. The next one, I really like this one. But mine came out bigger because I did use bigger yarn and hook than the pattern suggested. But just because that's my preferences. So this pattern is called the Slinky Christmas Characters. By Selena Lazarus. Uh, I made the snowman. I believe there's an elf, a Santa, and a reindeer as well. Maybe not an elf. But there are a few options to choose from. And uh, her pattern calls for DK weight yarn and a size 3 millimeter hook. But I used worsted weight yarn and a G hook just because I love worsted weight yarn. And my G hook was laying around <laughs> when I was making all these ornaments. I was making them all around the same time. And uh, I just used the same stuff throughout. But here he is. Isn't he cute? So he's like, he's got like a ball head and then you make curly cues for his legs and his hands, his arms. You make a scarf. His face is stitched on. He's got a little hat. It's so cute. But I just thought this was so cute. I think it'd be cute hanging either in a tree or just somewhere else for decoration. Or even maybe sitting somewhere. It'd just be cute. It's just a really cute little pattern. This is all red heart yarn as well. Um, white, cherry red, black. There's a little tiny piece of pumpkin, I'm pretty sure. It did, he has fiber fill on his head, which you could also use uh, tails or anything. <laughs> Does he just shut the door? I guess he don't like hearing me talk. <laughs> but uh, I think it's cute. Mine is bigger. If you do follow the pattern exactly, using a smaller yarn and smaller hook, it'll come out smaller. But I like that it's big. I think it's cute. But there's, I know there's a uh, reindeer and a Santa. I can't remember if there's an elf. But then there's something. But yeah, so that's the second one. And again, the links will be down below. That is free as well. And then the last one is a really simple, quick one that I whipped up and I just thought was cute. And it's also free. <laughs> and I'll also have it linked down below for you guys. And it is called Christmas Ribbon Ornament by Melissa Mall. And it is written with worsted weight yarn and a G-hook. <laughs> so it's just perfect to go with those two. But it's just a little Christmas ribbon. Like the candy. And it's really simple. It's made in like a long strip and then you... The way you um, feed the hanger through it, <laughs> uh, you can, you know, squish it up and make it look, you know, like Christmas candy. <laughs> it's hard to um, say, you know, to explain that. <laughs> but I did use the same yarns, pretty much. It's Red Heart Cherry Red, White, and uh, I can't remember if this is Patty Green or Kelly Green or the tree one. <laughs> it was just a scrap ball that I had. But I think it's super cute. I think it's... Um, just a cute little ornament, and I like these little candies. I've never actually had one, like, to eat, but I like the image of them, you know. Uh, just had her kind of just uh, retro, I guess, and really cute. And you can whip out a bunch of these and gift them, or if you wanted a candy-themed tree, you can make these and some candy canes and peppermints and stuff, you know. And I just thought that was so cute. So that's the three little ornaments I wanted to share with you guys today. I think they're so cute. I'd love to make this again, but in a lot of color brown. Although gingerbread is dark. But I just feel like he's a little too dark. I'm having a hard time breathing <laughs> because I'm congested and I'm also pregnant. <laughs> but, um, I'm trying. <laughs> but 
they're so cute. I love them. Look at them. I love this little curly cue guy. Anything with curly cues is fun. And uh, I love Christmas stuff, so it's just, it's just perfect. But yeah, so I wanted to share those. All the links will be down below if you want to check them out. And uh, I made them, so if you make them and you might need some help, just feel free to message me through email or in the comments even. <laughs> and I will try my hardest to help you if I can. And But they're pretty basic, straightforward uh, patterns. Maybe the most confusing thing would be the top stitching. I know a lot of people don't know how to do that. I don't enjoy doing it. <laughs> I would rather uh, sew things on, like embroider. But it does give a nice, like, clean finish. So, yeah. But I wanted to share those with you guys. And I will link them all down below. And uh, they're all free on websites. They don't have PDFs. But uh, you can check them out and make them for your family or for yourself. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and go catch my breath. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.